to a new vlog. I haven't spoken to the camera in over a month, so I'm feeling a little bit awkward. I wouldn't say the Portugal one is like a vlog vlog because I was always with friends and also it's more like a moody type of thing. I barely spoke. However, it's been a while. I haven't spoken to the camera in so long and I haven't really like sat and vlogged in my room in a while. Thorn, I've given myself 30 minutes as a break from everything to quickly clean my room, organize my things. I think it's super cluttered. Not I think, it is super cluttered everywhere. I just did like my bed and like my piano area and stuff, but I have like my desk, my coffee table, my bathroom. There's so much random things all over the place and I need to clean it up because it's getting to me. When my space is like not organized, I'm not organized. And then like I generally don't even, I can't even sit at my desk, you know, I don't remember the last time I sat at my desk I've been working on my couch for ages now So I just need to get those things done and then in my bathroom I have like clean clothes that are like hanging I have I saw I have a lot of skincare that I don't use anymore that I've noticed and I need to like chuck those because they're either old or I feel like they don't work well with my skin or whatever whatever I've been in a funk Today and yesterday, I've been in a funk. I'm the only person who can put me in a bad mood, and I'm also the only person who can put me in a good mood. So, you know, yesterday, it was not cute. Yesterday, I was in a bad mood. Yesterday, I did it to myself, you know? But today, we're changing it up. Today, we're in a good mood, okay? That's why I wanted to vlog. I wanted to vlog because I'm like, I need to speak, I need to be in my own company, and like, talk to the camera and then just knowing that I'm gonna edit this later and stuff it just makes me feel good as well also part of this is I've been looking a lot into stoicism and I've been practicing it I would say for like almost a month now and it makes such a big difference it's so simple it's so like obvious in terms of like the way of life but we just don't do it as people because we're so all up in our heads you know, so I've been practicing stoicism. I feel like I'm a stoic girl. Um, not yesterday, I wasn't. But today, in general, I feel like I have been stoic and I've been practicing it so much. And I want it to be something that just like I implement more into my life. So I want to like listen to like an audiobook on stoicism as well. I want to um, maybe like if there's like a cool like activity book or like a workbook or something like that, I would love to like sit and write or like a journal. I don't. Journals are, I don't know, I have mixed feelings about journal as books. Journaling is something, but books, anyway, another topic. However, um, yeah, so I'm very into stoicism. I feel like I want to be a stoic person for the rest of my life because honestly, the first two weeks of like practicing it, I already noticed such a big difference in my character and the way I approach things and the way I just like put myself in the mood for different things in life. And yesterday, actually this entire week, I kind of lost all of that. I became like super tense with different things. So now I'm back. I'm stoic, I'm good. We're gonna clean my room, fresh room, fresh mind. Do all of that, okay? Welcome to a new vlog. Um, this is a, mm, a reset vlog. We need it, okay? Let's go. Let's clean my room. Please help me and keep me company. Thank you so much.
So I bought this daily planner from Mumuso, like, I don't know, a couple weeks ago. That's it, that's all I wrote. That's all I've done because I didn't like the layout. I couldn't open it to see what it looks like when I was at the store, but I was like, oh, I assume it's good. Girl, my handwriting is so big. There's no way I can fit this in here. Like, look at that. Like, look at that. I can barely fit things in these lines. And then it's like the entire week is there and then you just have notes in the bottom. So I don't know what to do with it. I know for a fact that this is not useful for me. Maybe I'll go to a friend if they need it, I'll ask. But it's not it. And then my notebook, honestly, this notebook has so many things in here. I have like notes from my old job. I have, when I was doing my Arabic lessons, I have my Arabic notes in here. And then I have lyrics in here, girl. And then I have my new job in here. So like, this is not very organized. Yeah, that's pretty much my notebook. This is, this is my brain, you know? Like the pages are organized sometimes. And then other time, why did I do, why did I do math? Like I'm doing like proper decimals and addition and all of that. Why am I doing it manually when there's a calculator? You know, it really says a lot about me. It's like, oh, suddenly, I want to do calculations. <laughs> there's, you know, random that. Oh, within the entire thing, there's like empty pages as well. I was never that girl. Like in school, no way. In school, my notebook had to be like perfect. Otherwise, I'd just go crazy. But here, because, actually because nothing. Like there's no excuse. I think it's because like the days aren't necessarily like going after each other. It's just like everything is separate. I even have YouTube notes in here i wanted to do like a glow up fresh start thingy um never did it i have my portugal checklist you know open it onto a new page and have that on the side my laptop's here my keyboard my mouse everything's here i haven't used any of the keyboard and mouse situation in a while i haven't sat here i forgot what it's like you know yeah, Ugh, this chair is too good. I'll get back to that later. Everything that was here, I just moved it here. Yes, yes. These flowers, not mine, they're my mom's. She just kept it in my room yesterday because she needed the sunlight and all that. Bottle, empty. Tissue. Fruits. At least that's healthy. We have lava shack. I had crisps yesterday. Let's get to that now. A lot of things here as well. Okay, so one place that's really been bothering me is under my coffee table. Um, I don't know when this became like a storage unit. Uh, it wasn't me. I didn't do this. Like literally, I'm so picky with my coffee table, but it seems like things just get stored there when I'm not around, you know? There's a lollipop from the Kiehl's event under this table. This one, I'll put this. But then there's like laptop cover. I didn't do that. There's coins from I'm assuming this is Portugal because I think these are euros. Yes, euros, random. This is like a part in my room where like I see every day because I sit on the couch a lot. And so this is in front of me and um, you can't even see. Look at that. I'm just gonna tilt it because I'm not in the mood to like take my camera off the tripod. But like, you see that? There's like random things over there. So, so let's do that. This is my little friend from Japan um there was like a vending machine of like not a vending machine what's it called when you put like a coin and then you twist it and whatever comes out and it, it was one of those and they had like cute like kid watches and i really wanted a kid watch and this guy came out so i don't know how or why but i was like okay i guess you're coming home with me 
because I can't get rid of things like this. Let's organize that. I'm watching Selling Sunset now, by the way. I'm on season seven, episode seven. I didn't watch it for like a good year, I would say. So I think two seasons came out. Now I'm back and I already watched Selling OC, which I prefer more than Selling Sunset because it's just more dramatic, you know? Also, I completely forgot. In Japan, of all places, super random, I saw um, Jason from Selling Sunset. He was with his girlfriend and where were we? I think we were in Kith. Yes, yeah, so we were in the Kith store in some place. I don't know the name, I forgot. But uh, I turned around, like we were looking at the, I was looking at the kids section and then I turn around and then, and I see Jason like face to face right in front of me. I was like, and it took me a minute. I was like, and then he smiled and I smiled and then I turned around and then I was like, oh shit, that was Jason. That was so cool. I don't know why, he's not like celebrity or whatever, but it was just like really cool because I watched the show. And he was with his girlfriend, but I didn't look at her, so I don't know who she was. Was it Mary Lou? Was it not Mary Lou? I really don't remember at all. But yeah, he was there and he was sweet. Room is clean. Uh, I have my diffuser on. I filled up my ginormous Huda Beauty water bottle, and yeah, I couldn't do like the skincare bits because I went 45 minutes instead of 30 minutes that I promised myself. But I'll do that either in the evening or tomorrow or another day. My main point was my room, and wow, it already has changed my mood. Can you tell? I think the next step before I continue working is I want to journal a little bit. I used to do it a lot more than I do now just because mentally like years, a few years ago I was like in a terrible, terrible place. But now that alhamdulillah, I'm better, um, I don't journal that much because I feel like I just like know what to do when to do what blah 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 all of that i journal in my notes like on my phone i write notes down and i write down everything that i'm thinking sometimes if i'm not in the mood to write and i don't know how to like phrase my sentences i put on the voice thingy like the voice detection and i speak it and then my phone types it down for me so both of those really work for me i like it a lot now though i'm in the mood to like write sometimes i feel like if the feeling is like very intense or like if it's like really sitting with you for a while it's either better to write it by hand or to type it on a laptop because it just feels more like involved thorn i'm gonna do that i'm gonna grab my journal which actually is a journal from um we're not really strangers there was like a self-reflection deck that i did a few years ago and it comes with a notebook so i have the questions that i've answered in there in like 2021 crazy and then i have like things from 2022 23 and also like some things from this year as well but it's just so crazy looking back at it and like in my handwriting you could see the anger in some parts you could see like the excitement in other parts you could see like the sadness like you could see so much just through your handwriting and then also like sometimes i like to read back on my notes and on my journal and all of that and just like compare my mindset and like the things that were bothering me before versus like things that might be on my mind now and it's so crazy like i'm so pro journaling and writing things down i feel like it's such a good outlet my favorite version i think i would say is typing like on a laptop like just because it's the fastest one for me like i can type really fast so that one for me is number one number two i would say on my phone just because it's super convenient and like as soon as something's on my mind i type it once i was on a flight and something was on my mind and i just started writing on my phone the writing on paper is something special on its own but like my hand hurts when I write too much. Yeah, so I'm gonna journal for a little bit just to clear my mind because my room is clean. Now my mind needs some cleaning as well. And then from there, continue with work. So these are the two journals that I have. One is the gratitude journal that 
And then it's, this is the self-reflection one. You can see yourself on the tripod. You know, I have mixed feelings about this. Like, it's the same thing every day. So if you don't know the format, it's like that. And then here you put like what you're grateful for during the day and what you're hoping, what is it? I'm grateful for what would make today great and daily affirmations. And then at night, it's three amazing things that happened today. How could I have made today better? It's so lame. Like, I think you can just do this on your phone. You don't need to pay for like a notebook and like it's just sitting there in your closet. I've done like this many of them and it looks like a lot, but the papers are super thick. So it's not that many. It got like really repetitive. I think it's nice to like look back on. So I think I will finish it. Like this is all I've done since the 1st of February, 2023. Anyway, so I'm just gonna do this today. This is a self-reflection journal. This girl, this right here, she has secrets. She has secrets, she has tea. She has a lot to say. And like even this one, I haven't done that much. But trust me, this here, it's quality, not quantity. Like I've written so much. I started this on the 15th. Oh no, on yeah, on the 15th. Oh, I can't show that. I started this on the 15th of January, 2021. And this, unlike my notes for work and stuff, so neat because it's organized, girl. These are my thoughts. These are anger. This is everything. Um, there's so much tea in here, honestly. I wish I could show you, but I can't. My handwriting is so big. Oh, the last time I wrote was January 3rd, 2024. So let's go. Today's a new day, new thoughts, new things to get off my mind. My pen is dying. Good start, that's a good start. Yesterday Cami would probably cry about this inconvenience, but today Cami, she doesn't. So I'm gonna journal in peace and write about my feelings and then work and focus. And then, yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching today's vlog. Thank you for helping me with self care and cleaning my room and um, therapy, you know? Thank you so much, it helped a lot. It actually did, I actually do feel so much better. Last night I went to sleep like minus a thousand in terms of mood. Today I woke up like like 40% in a good mood. Now I would say I'm a good like 60, 70. And that's amazing, you know? Once I write and stuff, it'll get to like 80, 90 and then we're at 100% because we're stoic. We're stoic for life, so that's the plan. But yeah, thank you so much. I will see you in my next vlog on Thursday. And I hope you have a lovely, wonderful, gorgeous, amazing week. And I'll see you next one. Bye.